So let's jump to 1994 when we got a couple of Haunted Mansion adaptations, starting with a pop-up book. I bought this used copy online that was advertised as being in pretty good condition, and you know, it starts out in pretty good condition. And of course, then it's um, missing some things. Some pages are not in uh, great shape. Um, yeah. Pretty good is a relative term when it comes to pop-up books. Fortunately, I did find someone else on YouTube who has an actual good copy of this, who demonstrated all the things as they're supposed to work. By and large, the special effects in the ride are translated to pop-up effects quite effectively. I swear for once I'm not going for a pun, I just couldn't think of a better way to word that. Many of the things that move in the ride move similarly here thanks to pop-up technology. And interestingly enough, Leota didn't move in the ride at the time, but her table floats around here not dissimilarly from the way her head would float around 11 years later. There are some missed opportunities, like I feel like the bride's beating heart could have been translated to a pop-up effect, but Removing the veil for a scary face works too, I guess. We also should end with the hitchhiking ghosts and have, you know, you pull the tab and they move their thumbs or maybe have a pop-up effect where they appear in a doom buggy they previously weren't in. But the hitchhiking ghosts instead make a non-pop-up cameo on page one, which feels wrong. I guess the text on each page also would be better if more of it came directly from Exitensio, but despite any missed opportunities here, this is pretty cool as pop-up books go. Maybe I'll find a less broken copy of my own someday. So hurry back, we would like your company.